What's up YouTube? This is DWS Darius and this is going to be another episode of Amazing Fish. Okay YouTube, so right now you're looking at a bunch of fish, but the fish that I'm trying to show you is the Serpe Tetra, that little guy back there. Now first off, I do want to apologize because filming these fish for me was just extremely hard. When these fish stay still, they're at the back of the aquarium. When they come to the front of the aquarium, they're back and forth, back and forth. So it's really been hard for me to keep up with these fish, but um, nevertheless, I present to you the Serpe Tetra. Okay YouTube, so right now you're looking at the Serpe Tetra if I could get these other fish to go away. But yeah, that little reddish guy back there is a Serpe Tetra. And you might find this to be a familiar fish. These fish are found at almost every local fish store. A lot of times they're not called Serpe Tetras, they're called Red Minor Tetra. But um, yeah, these are very common fish and the reason why they're very hardy and just very fun to keep. Okay, so first off, they are Tetra. So you know all Tetra do best in schools. Now one thing that I do notice, you have different types of tetra like these guys over here you have your um where are they um i can't find any of them now but you have your neon tetras that stick together i find that these guys don't really stay together as much as that other tetra maybe that's just with me but um, mine's really do their own thing i have these two over here i have one back there if i can focus in and yeah they don't really stick together as other tetra they really are separated. I don't know if it's just me, but um, they tend to be more separated. However, they do benefit from a school. That school gives them confidence, and that school is what makes them bring out the more activity. Okay, so the thing I love best about this fish is just his color. You can see he has that brownish transparent color, and that color, if you keep him in a planting tank, it really works well with the plants. With the plants, you have that really green, that greenish wall, that green color, and when these fish swim across and through the plants, they really look good, as you can see this guy right here swimming. I'm not sure if he's a male or female, but um, they look awesome in front of the plants. The tiger bar is right here trying to steal the shell. Okay, so as far as the care for these fish, I find that these fish are very easy to take care of. Um, I recommend them for beginners who are just learning this hobby. Actually, when I first started, these were some of the first fish that I added to my first tank. So yeah, these fish are easy to take care of. They're really forgiven. Um, they could go through a lot of punishment of a new person trying to learn a hobby, trying to learn the ups and downs. So if you're new to hobby, these are great starter fish. Um, as far as feeding these fish, these tiger barbs are just constantly trying to steal the shell. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the Tiger Barbs Amazing Fish Fit video because as you can see here, these fish just love attention. But back to Serpe Tetra, as far as um, feeding, they eat pretty much all types of flakes. And... Um, just basic care for all fish and you'll have success with these fish. You want to make sure you don't overfeed. You want to make sure you stay on top of your water changes. All fish love water changes. All fish will grow from water changes. And even all fish might be triggered to spawn from water changes. So water changes work miracles. And um, other than that, make sure your tank mates aren't too aggressive. These fish are not too aggressive towards other fish. You can see they're chasing each other. But towards it, other fish they're not too aggressive so you want to make sure they're not with any overly aggressive fish okay youtube so i think that's going to be it about the red serpe tetra these are classic fish you can find them anywhere and if you haven't kept them make sure you add them on your fish kept list because these fish are just awesome to keep very fun experience an awesome tetra they bring a lot of activity to the tank as you can see i'm having a hard time keeping up with them they're just back and forth all over the tank can't even find one now. There's one back there in the jungle valve. But yeah, these fish are very active, and that's one of the um, best features about these fish. They're very active to keep your attention. So yeah, that's been a little look at the Serpe Tetra. Now, if you have any questions or concerns regarding this fish, let me know in the comments below. And as always, I want to thank all everybody for watching, everybody for showing us support, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.